Okay, so now we need to create JavaScript, a JavaScript script to actually go and fetch the data from the PHP files and then put it into the drop down. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to actually put this in a folder. So let's go create a new folder and let's just call it scripts, like so. Now we're going to be using a JavaScript library called jQuery. It's free and it's brilliant. Um, so you can download it at jQuery.com. You just go to the download jQuery and then here download the compressed production jQuery 1.11. Don't worry about two. It's yeah, exactly the same. So let's go right click on 1.11 and then you go save link as okay and then just download it but I've already downloaded it so I usually keep a library of all my scripts that I download so I will just so then when you've downloaded it go and add in the script to your scripts folder okay so just copy it in there so let's I'm going to, quick, to quickly do that Okay, so I've copied the script in. You may notice it's jQuery 1.10.2. Don't worry about it. It's really the commands work in both versions. Okay, and now we need a JavaScript object for ourselves. Okay, a, a, sorry, a script file for ourselves that we can do our own scripting in. So let's just go create a new JavaScript file. Let's just call it script.js, like so. Okay, and I'm going to clear everything. Okay, so now that we have our two script files, we need to go and reference them in our index.html. So let's go to index.html, and it's usually good practice to reference your scripts at the end of the file. So go to the end of the, or at the end of your body. So go after your last select, let's go add in a script tag, source equals scripts, forward slash, and we're going to reference jQuery first. And let's just go and close that. Well, what's happening? Let's just go and uh, close that script tag. So, like so, okay. And now let's go reference our own scripting file. So scripts script.js. Let's go and close it like that. Okay, cool. So let's go and add in our own script. So let's do our jQuery document dot ready. Um, you should have a basic understanding of jQuery. So you always start your files with a document dot ready like that. So all our code will be executed once the document has fully loaded, which is what we want. Okay. So when the document loads, we want to fetch the makes because if you look here, when we load the document it fetches the makes of the phones. Okay, so the moment we load it, we want to fetch the makes. Okay, so let's start with the makes. Let's go use the jQuery.get JSON command, okay? So, URL. So we start with a, a URL. So we're going to get our makes from the get makes.php, okay? So we simply say the URL is get makes.php, like so. And then after that, comma, success equals function. And then it's returning data, so we add in a data parameter like that. Enter and curly braces. And yeah, like so. Cool. Now we have that data, which is a, a JavaScript array. So now we just need to add it into the options. Okay, so we need to... Oh, we need to add create option elements. So to do this, we need a string which will contain all the little all the HTML, and then we just need to append it to the the select item. So we need to just put it inside the select item. So to do that, we'll go and create a new variable called options equals a blank string. So like that. Now let's go create a for loop to loop through all the data. So we'll go for var i equals zero, i smaller than data dot length i plus plus. Okay, and inside there we just want to append 
a option HTML tag to the um, string. So we have options plus equals. So add it to the already. So keep what it already has. Just add this. Add angle bracket opening angle brackets option space value equal single quote then go plus your um, data i dot to lower case okay so it's lower case then plus double quote single quote closing angle bracket just to finish the starting tag then inside we want to have the actual value so again plus data square bracket i like that and then plus and we just need to close it now opening angle bracket forward slash option closing angle bracket okay and that's it that's all we need to do to create one option so it will just keep adding them after each other um with the for loop now let's go and let's go append it so we just go reference the object we want to append it to so the hash slct makes or make what was it called what's the id slct make so hash stands for the id and then let's just go dot append and we want to append options so now i'll append that options to it okay so let's check if it works so let's go here Let's go to our file index.html and you can see it's got it's fetched all the variables from the database so that's cool now we need to select the get the phone models when the user clicks on here so when I'm clicking on here these are values okay the values changing so on change so when the text box changes we want to go and fetch new phone models okay so let's do that so let's go back to our code so let's create a new function uh, let's go after this whole get json thing let's go and say reference the hash s l c t make so when it changes so dot change go function we want to perform the following function like so. So when it changes, we want to perform another get JSON, okay? And it's basically exactly the same. So we can go and copy this dot get JSON, paste it here. Just going to indent that. Okay, so instead of getting makes, we want to get models dot php and then question mark make equals, and then we just want to go plus. And now because we've already selected the SLCT make, we can just go bracket this in jQuery dot val brackets. Okay, and that just fetches the value of the drop down make. Okay, so when it's success, it must the run this function. It's exactly the same. The only thing we need to change is this SLCT model. And that should yeah, it's called SLCT model. What's it complaining about now? Okay, I don't get what it's going to... Oh, whoops, there. Okay. So, that's... So, let's try it. Okay, and... Okay, let's try... Go back to our app. Refresh. And you can see now... Every time we click, it's not changing. Wait, what, what, what? Oh, but it is changing. It is indeed changing. It's instead of removing the previous elements and adding new ones, it just keeps adding. So a simple fix to, to this, we just go here and just before we append it, we go select that hash slct make model and we say we want to set the html, so dot html brackets double quotes with nothing in between means clear the html, I don't want any html in there. And then also you noticed when we loaded the page, did you see it didn't load the models for the phone? It just loaded the, the makes, and then when you clicked on the model, it loaded the models. But now we want to load the models on page load. 
Well, there's a simple solution to that. So after we append the options here in our .getjson at the beginning of our file, we can simply go and actually fake a change function to a, we can actually go fake that the the thing has been changed and then it will run the function that's meant to run when the when the, the when the drop down is changed so all we need to go do is go reference that hash slct make and then simply go dot change open close brackets like that and now what it does is it goes and it emulates a change event okay so now you'll see when we refresh it automatically loads those uh, models and if we change you'll see it removes the elements and adds the new ones and that's it that's all this tutorial was on um or series i know it was long um i tried to cover i try to cover opening databases and basic sql sql sorry so it's been a long series and I I hope you learned something though. Um I this is my first programming tutorial I make. I was yeah, you know, I've I've been wanting to make one for a while, so when school holidays came I decided to do this. I just wanna mention, um as I mentioned before already, but I just wanna emphasize actually, this is not the most secure way to do it. You are vulnerable to SQL injection. And you are also vulnerable to what was it that I mentioned earlier? Oh yes, um, code exploitation, where the person can exploit your code and modify dates and stuff. Um, and so yeah, that's it. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions or compliments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye.